Warning, sensitive images. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. For her efforts to advance animal people welfare, Supreme Master Ching Hai presented the Shining World Compassion Award to Jill Robinson and humbly contributed $10,000 to her cause in 2007. Master kindly donated $15,000 and then $20,000 to the Animals Asia Vietnam Bear Sanctuary in 2018. Master also presented Animals Asia with the Shining World Compassion Award plus $20,000 US dollars in 2020. Over the years, Master has contributed a total of $65,000 US dollars to Animals Asia. Jill Robinson, Vegan and Animals Asia, Ending Bear People Exploitation, Part 1 of 2. Please continue watching to find out more. Vegan or can a blood dripping mouse utter anything great? Talofa, virtuous viewers. This means hello in the Samoan language. I'm Taito. The kind-hearted Samoan people pray that your virtuous actions protect you in God's love and grace. Welcome to our show, Jill Robinson, Vegan in Animals Asia, Ending Bear People Exploitation, Part 1 of 2. Today, we will meet Shining World Compassion Award recipient Jill Robinson, the founder and CEO of the Hong Kong-based Animals Asia, which is also a Shining World Compassion Award recipient. Miss Robinson is a true hero who has changed the lives of so many people from the animal kingdom. Her single-minded determination to transform the world for our co-inhabitants has led to many other honors, including Queen Elizabeth II awarding her an MBE or member of the Order of the British Empire in 1998. Jill's greatest accomplishments are in her work to end the bear people bio industry, and her organization has rescued over 648 bear persons. She worked diligently with the government of Aulak, also known as Vietnam, to create a memorandum of understanding to eradicate all bear people bio operations nationwide and rescue all bear people currently in captivity for bio by the year 2026. In addition, she has established award-winning sanctuaries for rescued bear persons in both China and Aulak or Vietnam. Bravo! For those who are unfamiliar with the horrific bear person bio industry, the bile from the bear people's gold bladders is used in traditional Chinese and Aulaxese or Vietnamese medicine and is also made into teas tonics, shampoos, and other products. The process of obtaining the bio is brutal. The beautiful bear people are kept in tiny cages and treated as production units. They are regularly punctured with a needle or catheter through their abdomen until it reaches the gold bladder, which then drains the bio. It is a painful and torturous life. Jill and Animals Asia have worked with traditional Chinese and Olaxis or Vietnamese medicine practitioners 
to promote herbal and synthetic alternatives to bear people bio. She was a council member of the World Federation of Chinese Medicine Society's Herbal Committee. Jill's journey to save bear people from the bio industry and create sanctuaries for them started with a profound experience over 25 years ago. My inspiration was actually walking onto a bear bar farm uh, a long time ago in 1993. And um, I'd been told by a journalist friend of mine that he discovered this bear farm. And I was working at the time for the International Fund for Animal Welfare. And uh, so I grabbed a couple of friends. I went over to China. I found the bear farm and I walked onto a place that I had really no understanding of, except when I saw the 32 bears in tiny wire cages and just realized how horribly they were suffering. I mean, just everything changed from that second. And there was one point where I was walking around this awful sort of um, holding area where they had the bears in cages and something touched my shoulder and I turned around because I thought uh, I was going to be hurt because I'd obviously backed too closely into a cage. Um, and there was a, a bear with her paw stretched through the bars of the cage. And blindly and stupidly, I took it, but she didn't hurt me. She just squeezed my fingers. And as I just said, I knew that everything would change from that second. And indeed it did. And she was my inspiration. One bear was my inspiration to start Animals Asia. That extraordinary moment led Jill down a new path, one where saving the bear people from bio-extraction operations became her life's purpose. Animals Asia has sanctuaries for them to live out their lives in peace. We're very blessed to have two rescue centers now, uh, one in Chengdu in Sichuan province in China and one in Tamdao National Park in Vietnam. And through the course of these years, we've rescued 648 bears to date, um, both the moon bears, Asiatic black bears, and also some sun bears and some brown bears as well. Um, we're very, very privileged to be working with the governments of both countries on these sanctuaries. Um, and we've also won the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries Award for both sanctuaries as well. No to vegan? Because you don't worry if you get sick. The taxpayers will pay for your hospital bill. We'll be right back with more from our interview with Miss Robinson after a prayer for a vegan world to help protect our beloved animal people. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show, Jill Robinson, Vegan and Animals Asia, Ending Bear People Exploitation, Part 1 of 2 on Supreme Master Television. Animals Asia spent eight years trying to relocate bears from a former large bear people bio-operation in China, located on land purchased by a Buddhist who did not want the bear people to continue to be caged. We've just transported 101 bears from Nanning in China to our rescue center in Chengdu, and that was amazing because we waited eight years to do that. You know, there was a lot of red tape there were a lot of delays in the last couple of years, obviously because of COVID as well. Um, and finally, at the amazing team led up by Ryan um, Marcel Sukot in Chengdu, our bear and vet team director, um, they did a masterful rescue. Absolutely, you know, rescuing one bear is dangerous and unpredictable, but rescuing 101 bears is phenomenal. And they did it safely and professionally and got those bears home to our sanctuary. It was 750 miles each trip, and trucks and trucks and trucks, nine trucks a time. It was unbelievable, really. You know, it was, um, gosh, two days and two nights on the road. Um, it, you know, anything could have happened. And, you know, some of the bears obviously were sick and they had to be medicated along the way. All the bears, of course, had to be fed and cleaned. Um, some of them were quite stressed, you know, obviously with something they've never experienced before, but our team coped with the whole thing so professionally, so beautifully well. I just couldn't have been more proud of them. Transporting the bears through many different townships and provinces meant Animals Asia had to work with multiple local governments to make the rescue happen. No one had ever attempted a bear person rescue of this magnitude. 
so it took many years to acquire all the needed permissions and permits. A short film called Moon Bear Homecoming was made about the rescue and is narrated by Emmy Award winning American actor, vegan, and animal people rights activist James Cromwell. There was no blueprint for what they were about to do. The sheer scale and logistics of this mammoth move dwarfed any of their previous rescue operations. We're just beyond grateful now that we have this opportunity and we're so thankful to the Guangxi and Sichuan Forestries and Grassland Administrations to just allow us this opportunity to, to allow the bears a second chance at life. I really, really want to pay tribute to our team. Our teams in China and Vietnam who actually look after the bears, do the rescue, um, they are heaven sent. They really are. They are all bear whisperers. They just absolutely know their role with such profession and integrity and tenacity, you know, and obviously kindness at the core. Um, but I also want to say thank you to the wider organization of Animals Asia because this has grown from a very, very small organization with five of us founding it and now with over 300 staff, which is just amazing to think of. But every single one of them I, I pay tribute to because we wouldn't be where we were without everybody pulling together in this amazing organization, this amazing family of ours. For her efforts to advance animal people welfare, Supreme Master Ching Hai presented the Shining World Compassion Award to Jill Robinson and humbly contributed 10,000 US dollars to her cause in 2007. Master kindly donated 15,000 US dollars and then 20,000 US dollars to the Animals Asia Vietnam Bear Sanctuary in 2018 for partnering with the Jakarta Animal Aid Network to rescue 40 macaque monkey people in Indonesia. Master presented Animals Asia with the Shining World Compassion Award plus 20,000 US dollars in 2020. Over the years, Master has contributed a total of 65,000 US dollars to Animals Asia. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the most merciful, beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for His compassion and love toward His precious children. For more information about Jill Robinson and Animals Asia, please visit animalsasia.org and facebook.com forward slash Animals Asia. I think people would not participate in violence against these animals if they saw the animals firsthand. I have no doubt about it. Anita Kreins, vegan. Beloved viewers, thank you for joining us today for Jill Robinson, Vegan and Animals Asia, Ending Bear People Exploitation, Part 1 of 2. Please join us again on Monday, February 21st for Part 2, where we learn more about the rescue of bear people from Nanning, China, and additional ways that Animals Asia is helping our animal people co-inhabitants. May your days be filled with love and sunshine. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash gpgw. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique gpgw. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com bar inclinada gpgw. Unsere Sendungen bieten viele Sprachen. Gehen Sie auf suprememastertv.com schrägstrich 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 schr